In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Tailwind CSS to a Nux3 project as quickly as possible. Let's dive in. First, I'm going to create a new project folder. Call this new Nux3 Tailwind CSS project or whatever you want your project to be. Open that up with VS Code. Open up your terminal. Go ahead and run the following command, and this does require having Node and Yarn installed to do it how I'm particularly doing it. So npx nuxy init, I'm going to say dot to represent the current directory that I'm in, and that will download. I'm going to select Yarn here, and while that's installing dependencies, we can already add a few things. So I'm going to add tailwind.config.js. This is just for adding linting mostly and whatever Tailwind settings you want. Inside of our Nuxt config, we can go ahead and add the following. So we're going to say modules at nuxt.js forward slash tailwind CSS. We can go ahead and add the CSS file for your uh, Tailwind assets forward slash tailwind forward or CSS forward slash tailwind CSS. I have a nice little short template to add the tailwind base components and utilities. Inside of app.view, I'm going to add an h1 just so we can see that it's working. Hello world. Because if it is working, then this should have no base styles as an h1 tag, which means it shouldn't be big or have any padding around the sides or anything like that. So now we're just going to wait until all of the dependencies are finished downloading. Once it's done, we can go ahead and add the following. So we're going to say yarn add dash d at nuxjs forward slash tailwind CSS. And that's going to install tailwind into our project. Once that's done, we can go ahead and run our dev server, see if it's working. Open that up in the browser. I'm going to put this on the side here. And boom, here it is with no styling. As an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to quickly build a pretty functional landing page. On our h1 here, or actually even above the h1, we're going to have another div. And we're going to give it the following styles. So first we're gonna make sure it's h screen. We're gonna give it a background. So it's gonna be bg center, bg cover. Also bg blend overlay to control the colors. We're gonna add an image here. So I'm gonna say style. And here we're going to say background image, URL, HTTPS, double forward slash source dot unsplash unsplash dot com featured. We're going to add like a nature background just to have it. So now we can already see that going uh, here. We're going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to say BG black 50 like that. We're going to say text white. So everything, all of the text inside is going to be white. And also we're going to make this a flex box. So flex items center justify center so our text is going to be right in the middle here we're going to add class text let's call it eight text eight xl font bold hello world add a nice p tag here also this is going to be in its own div because we want this to be a content container add some padding on the sides px5 in the p tag we're just going to write some text welcome to our site with some emojis let's add a wave diamond thing diamond like that sure why not welcome to our site text thin uh, text 3xl also text center cool 25 go like that there we go font thin we can go ahead and add a button px5 py2 text white what color do we want it to be let's say bg cyan 500 or 600 hover bg cyan 500 rounded corners medium get started let's see how that looks uh yeah pretty much that so and maybe font semi bold text 4x, no, 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 text XL, 2XL. Yeah, something like that. And if we want, we can make it bouncing. So animate, bounce. Nice. And now we have a nice, happy landing page. Pretty. Let's see what it looks like on refresh. Boom. Oh, that's minty as hell. All right. So with that being said, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, subscribe. My name is Zach Plochet, and until next time, bye for now.